Hi, Jeff here with Corsair. I'm going to build a system using the Corsair Carbide Series 400R case. It's a mid-tower case, but it has a lot of internal volume, so we're going to take the opportunity to fill it with some large components. The 400R also has a superior airflow with the ability to mount up to 10 fans and a top-mounted dual radiator. So we're going to build a system that will exploit the 400R's cooling flexibility. Our motherboard is an ASUS Maximus 4 Extreme with an Intel Socket 1155 CPU. Graphics are provided by an ATI 5970, and for storage, a Western Digital 640GB drive. The 400R comes with three fans built in, but we're adding five more 120mm fans. We're also cooling the CPU with a Hydro Series H100 Extreme Performance Liquid CPU Cooler. We're adding 8GB of Vengeance DRAM. Our boot drive is a 120GB 4 Series GT Solid State Drive and we're powering everything with an Enthusiast Series Modular TX850M. The 400R is designed for builders. The thumb screws make it easy to get inside. The thumb screws are captive to the side panel, meaning they don't come out all the way, so you'll never lose them. When installing a motherboard into the case, you'll want to tighten all the screws lightly before doing the final tightening. This keeps uniform pressure on the motherboard and reduces the already unlikely event of the motherboard warping. I'm installing the drives next to give myself more room before I add more components. We're using a 4 Series GT solid state drive with 120 gigabytes of unformatted capacity for the boot drive. The 4 Series GT is amazingly fast, and if you're on a budget, you might consider one of our 4 Series 3 or another one of our SSD models. I'm using the Force GT because its red label goes great with the build's color theme. 120 gigabytes is enough to hold the operating system and plenty of games and applications, but we're installing a 640 gigabyte mechanical hard drive for extra storage. As I mentioned earlier, the 400R has excellent ventilation and 10 fan mounting points. I'm going to attach 5 more fans to go along with the 3 that are already installed. Again, you probably won't need this much airflow, but you can if you want to. Now we add the H100 Extreme Performance Liquid CPU Cooler. I'm installing this before I add the memory and graphics card to give myself a little extra room to attach the CPU cooling unit. High performance Vengeance memory comes in multiple colors. We'll be using the red since it goes well with the red accents of the motherboard. We're installing two 4GB modules for a total of 8GB. The Carbide Series 400R can take graphics cards of up to 316mm in length, but we'll need to remove one of the fans we installed earlier to allow the extra long ATI 5970 to fit. Even the pros hit snags every once in a while. With nine other fans installed, there's still more than enough cooling power. Now I'm installing the power supply. The Enthusiast Series Modular TX850M provides up to 850 watts of continuous power. The Carbide Series 400R, like all Corsair PC cases, has a cable management system that allows you to run cables out of sight. And lastly, I'm installing the SATA cables from the drives to the motherboard and the connectors for the front control panel. The front control panel includes two USB 3.0 connectors, one firewire, headphone and microphone jacks, and switches for power, reset, and lighting for the front two fans. The hardware is all set up and all we have left to do is install the operating system. The total build time was less than an hour and the builder friendly features of the Corsair Carbide Series 400R made things easy. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you have any questions, here's how to get in touch with us.